Day 12 of the Baja Divide. So this was the stretch where we went from Catavina mm-hmm. to... Uh, we started the route down to Santa Rosalita and it's the longest section of the Baja that has no resupply of water or food. Mm-hmm. And it's like a really long coastal bit, so we were quite excited to do this bit. There's apparently one of the highest species diversity of cacti in the entire route in this stretch here. And we stopped for a little morning tea break. So it's quarter past 10 and we're stopping for our first snack of the day. I've already had a banana, but it's because I had to, because it was squished, because this is how I have to keep them. Because we have so much gear. And what's Yaz snacking on? I'm snacking on a blueberry cream danish. Ooh! Some like soggy peanuts. Oh, <laughs> soggy. It. And some power. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks are very important out here. So we searched for some dragon fruit because we've been trying to find them ever since we had that first one. They're so good. And then the path was really nice. It was a pretty gradual downhill slope all the way out to the coast. And, yeah, it was past lots of different cacti. There was, like, those huge cardon cacti and then those funky-looking ones, which are called cereus trees. Yeah. And then we had, like, the first glimpse of the ocean, which was so exciting because we weren't actually sure if we were going to make it all the way to the coast on the first day. And But then the last little bit, like from when we could see the ocean to once we actually got to the ocean, was a lot of up and down. That last 10k mm. to, um, what's this little fishing town called? San... San Jose? San Fer- Jose. Faro de San Jose. Yeah, Faro de San Jose. And uh, the boys ahead of us got water resupply, but it's pretty sketchy on whether or not you'd be able to because there's only like a couple locals and they obviously need water for themselves so it's very unreliable to be able to get water there but the boys only had four litres for the next two days so the locals gave them some water Um, and we arrived at this spot this was New Year's Eve um, and we the most were, beautiful little campsite perched up on the hill. Yeah, it was so stunning. We were stoked to be there. And just like that sunset, it was incredible. Yeah, and then I saw some dolphins surfing in the waves. Yes, <laughs> you were stoked on that. First fire with potatoes and a really wholesome New Year's. Mm. <laughs>